टुडे आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू टूडे इज वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग एज यू ऑल नो क्लोरोक्वीन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एस ए आर एंड स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर्स ऑफ क्लोरोक्वीन सो एज यू ऑल नो इन अवर अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग which says that this chloroquine belongs to the class 4 amino quinolines so as the name suggest 4 amino quinolines so in heterocyclic compounds we have studied this heterocycle which is this heterocycle yes quinoline because this is the fused heterocyclic system in classification we have seen five member six member and fused ring so this is a fused heterocycle which is known by the name quinoline since it contains nitrogen at first position so according to the numbering rule the numbering starts from the hetero atom so one and anti clockwise direction so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 but but what the name says four amino so what it means on the fourth position of quinoline ring you will have the substituent called as amino so this is nh2 okay so this complete structure is what four amino quinoline so since chloroquine belongs to the class four amino quinolines this will be the basic moiety which will be present in every drug belonging to the class four amino quinoline so what was the other drug belonging to the four amino quinolines class it was amodiaquine right so amodiaquine hydroxychloroquine chloroquine hydroxychloroquine actually is a metabolite of chloroquine only but this drugs belongs to the class 4 amino quinolines so you understood now what is 4 amino quinolines so coming towards the structure of chloroquine the most important drug on which we are going to discuss today is synthesized by germans in 1934 so this is the structure you can write it in exam like this way also or you can write in exam like this way also the way i have written with my hands so this is quinoline ring right this is four amino now this was what in four amino quinoline this was nh2 right but here one hydrogen of nh2 is getting substituted with a substituent like this so this is ch ch3 this methyl substituent is present on first carbon so this is first carbon and ch2 thrice means second third fourth so this will be ch ch2 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 so this is four carbon chain okay so this is butyl and to that diethyl amino is attached okay so diethyl ch2 ch3 ch2 ch3 or else you can call it as c2h5 c2h5 which is attached to the tertiary nitrogen so is it clear to you all so on four amino position there is a substituent called as butyl on that butyl first carbon methyl is present and at seventh position as name suggests chloroquine right so it is chloroin group so chlorine is present at seventh position so now we'll see so this way also you can write in a chain form or this way also you can write so this is considered as c carbon 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 and uh, satisfied by the valency so this here carbon this is having one substituent methyl so now three remaining so it is attached to nitrogen so second gone here it is attached to carbon so third gone so here only one hydrogen will remain so as you can see in this diagram ch this is attached with n this is attached with ch3 this is attached with ch2 and one valency is remaining which is satisfied by this one hydrogen so this substituent is what ch ch3 now this is ch2 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 this is first ch2 this is ch2 this is ch2 right so ch ch3 ch2 thrice n ch2 ch3 ch2 ch3 is nothing but ch2 ch3 is ethyl okay so this four 
why this four i have written it in a star that twin bold so this flow four is very important as far as chloroquine is concerned so in the classification trick what we have seen four chlor so four hai to chlor hai so abhi chloroquine structure by the common name chloroquine you can remember that chlorine might be present and chloroquine hai to quinoline so these two features you can easily remember but what about this remaining feature this four amino quinoline and chlorine complete this ring i can understand but what about this substituent how you will remember this so chlor hai four hai abhi four ka importance dekhna hai hum logo ko abhi next importance kya hai yahan pe char carbons hai first second third fourth as you can see in the structure this is first second third fourth ch2 thrice hai yahan pe so four carbons hai to four kyu important hai sabse pehle four chlor second kya hai four four carbon this four carbon so you are supposed to remember this way ki char carbon ka distance hai between this tertiary nitrogen and this four amino quinoline ka nitrogen okay then upside to downside to total four ye kya hai abhi yahan pe tum log dekhoge agar to nitrogen ke this is upside this is downside so upside to matlab kya ch2 ch3 do carbon yahan pe ch2 ch3 do carbon right so upside to downside to total kitna ho gaya four so four upside to downside to four four carbon chain and four chlor so how easy it is to remember the structure of chloroquine right or not so now you will say why i am telling you about this structure uh, it's so simple to remember but when you will study 30 chapters together it is quite difficult to remember the structure of 50 to 55 drugs at once so we need to have such tricks to remember the structure of that particular drug so it becomes very simple for you people to remember the structure now structural features we'll see as you can see very 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 first structural feature from the name is chloroquine so chlorine so chlorine hai chloro at seventh position quine so this quinoline ring quinoline ring then four amino hai means what quinoline ring ke fourth position pe amino hai nh2 tha one hydrogen is replaced with this substituent so फोर है तो चार कार्बन है मतलब सी एच सी एच टू थ्राइस ये टोटल कितने हो गए फोर एंड फर्स्ट सी एच पे सब्सिट्यूट कौन सा है मीथाइल देन ब्यूटाइल फोर कार्बन डिस्टेंस देन एन सी टू एच फाइव सी टू एच फाइव अफ साइड टू डाउन साइड टू टोटल फोर सो इसे दिस सब्सिट्यूट इज डाई इथाइल अमीनो दिस इज ब्यूटाइल दिस इज मीथाइल सो दीज आर द structural features of the chloroquine now as you can see in one more structure i have drawn here so this is same as it of chloroquine but only at this terminal diethyl amino substituent which is present at upside 2 wala c2h5 hydroxy is attached okay so this is what a metabolite of chloroquine that is hydroxy chloroquine now coming towards the iupac nomenclature of chloroquine which is again very much important from the exam point of view so iupac starts parent kya hai amino quinoline wo bhi kaun sa four amino quinoline so this is four amino quinoline i have circled but now what about the substituents which are present so if you will start this seventh position chloro is there which we have written at the first position why because alphabetical order say if you will go the c comes first than the methyl or diethyl amino so the seven chloro four parent parent jo amino quinoline hai four amino quinoline class isiliye ye four kya hai ye wala four jo hai wo bracket ke bahar hai inside the bracket q likha hai kyunki butyl ke fourth carbon pe ये वाला सब्सिट्यूट प्रेजेंट है कौन सा डाइथाइल अमीनो सो so, इसीलिए इसको क्या लिखा है ये बाहर मतलब ये बाहर क्यों लिखा लिखा है क्योंकि ये फोर्थ पोजीशन पे 
ब्यूटाइल है और ब्यूटाइल के फोर्थ पोजीशन पे डाइथाइल अमीनो है तो ये फोर बाहर लिखा है ब्रैकेट के इन साइड द ब्रैकेट फोर डाइथाइल अमीनो फोर्थ पोजीशन ऑफ ब्यूटाइल देन एट फर्स्ट पोजीशन ऑफ ब्यूटाइल देर इज अ प्रेजेंस ऑफ मिथाइल ग्रुप इट इज वन मिथाइल किसके फर्स्ट पोजिशन पे मिथाइल है ब्यूटाइल के सो वन मिथाइल ब्यूटाइल अमाइनो क्विनोलिन दिस इज द पेरेंट रिंग ओके सो कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द एस ए आर पॉइंट दो इट इज नॉट देयर इन द एग्जाम फॉर यू पीपल और रादर यू कैन सी इन द सिलेबस फॉर यू पीपल डिप्लोम डिप्लोमा इन फार्मेसी बट देन ऑल्सो इट इज इसेंशियल फॉर यू पीपल टू नो दिस एस ए आर वाई बिकॉज वाई ओनली दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज वर्किंग एज एंटी मलेरियल ड्रग Why not other any drug which if you will join all these structural features and even though if you prepare some other drug, why uh, why it is essential or why this is a characteristic feature of this chloroquine that it is acting against a malarial parasite? So this we can understand by study. That means uh, even a bit structural modification. So S A R that is structural activity relationship. That means the relationship between the structure. and what activity it shows okay so as you can see the substituents are this is chlorine this is a parent ring which is very much essential for the activity so quinoline is the main nucleus which is, is essential to show the anti malarial activity right then chlorine this presence of this electron withdrawing group at seventh position of quinoline ring is very much essential why because it inhibits the hemozoin formation so the importance of this hemozoin formation we'll see it in later video that is on mechanism of action of chloroquine then this distance between nh 4 amino quinoline ka nh and this tertiary nitrogen distance jo hai wo 4 carbon ka hai now this distance why to keep this many carbons ka distance is essential because activity gets retained through this uh, maintaining this distance and as well as parasite resistance is also one of the parameter now how is it so we'll see in the structural activity relationship so first point if you will see this is the nucleus this is the structure of four amino uh, this four amino quinoline and this is chloroquine so this chlorine first we have seen which is a electron withdrawing group is very much essential to inhibit the hemozoin formation now see this hemozoin formation if it gets inhibited then it is act, it becomes active against some malarial parasite that means inhibition of this hemozoin is very much essential then d isomer of four amino quinoline is comparatively less toxic than the l isomer this four amino quinoline nucleus this is central nucleus is required for binding to the hematin so binding properties then tertiary amino function this tertiary amino group tertiary amine is very much important why because it is essential for ph trapping then substitution of hydroxy this what we have seen in hydroxychloroquine we have seen what substitution of hydroxy on one of the ethyl is confirming what it decreases the toxicity as well as increases the plasma concentration so which is the feature of hydroxychloroquine abhi to aapne bahut suna hoga iske bare mein sabko by heart ho gaya hoga ye naam hydroxychloroquine so why hydroxychloroquine what is the structural feature of hydroxychloroquine that hydroxy decreases the toxicity of chloroquine along with increasing the plasma concentration of the drug then this length of the spacer connecting this four amino quinoline and this terminal nitrogen is very much sensitive towards the parasite resistance that means creating the resistance depends on the sole feature that distance so if this distance is shorter 2 to 3 carbon or it is longer like 10 to 12 carbon so these two features will retain the activity against the resistant stains of the parasite that means if the distance is maintained for 2 to 3 carbons or 10 to 12 carbons then resistance problem won't come in case of malaria with chloroquine then here 
if you will see introduction if methyl group is introduced at the third position of quinoline ring then it decreases the activity so there is no substituent present in the structure of chloroquine with this we finish with the sar of chloroquine and structural features thank you